you have been asking about the relationship between being a spiritually based business person and experiencing issues with money. This is a topic we have spoken on on multiple occasions because of its important at this time for those healers, those seekers, those who claim themselves or feel themselves to be light workers. And it is of the utmost importance that you begin to explore what it is within you that holds back from fully sharing the gifts you're here to share, the light you're here to be, because of a denial to receive financial exchange. And while many of you would say, we do not deny money, we would ask you to look within honestly and begin to explore how comfortable you truly are in receiving money for your gifts. It is one thing to receive money for a tangible product. It's another thing to receive money for a job that you do on behalf of another within a company, within some sort of organization. And yet it can be very difficult for many of you to receive money as you share your essence, as you allow your light to shine. Because there is this notion that, of course, that light is the basis of all that is. How can you charge for that? And while we understand that, and we understand where that belief comes from, we want to bring consciousness to your decision to incarnate into this realm and with an intention, with a purpose to share that light. Now part of that incarnation process is the individuation of your unique essence and allowing that to be expressed through your experience, through your expression, through your physical needs and environment. And you've chosen to come into the density of this environment in a time where the primary exchange of energy is through money. Now we're speaking strictly in the business sense. In relationships it would be very different. It is important for you to honor the density of this environment by allowing yourself to receive financial gain for the energy exchange that you offer in the expression of your individuated light, your individuated essence. It is true that the light that you are, the essence of who you are, is everywhere and it is available to everyone. So why then not participate fully in the environment that you came into and allow yourself to participate in the exchange of that individuated energy with others, and in this case, clients? Because as they show up and offer the energetic component of money, there is a balancing of the energy. And that balancing of the energy is you offer your service and you receive the financial exchange of money the energy between you is balanced. And what is most important for health in any relationship, intimate, interpersonal, or business and in service, is that there be a balance in the exchange of energy. And that is of utmost importance to understand so that you can begin to see that for you to have healthy relationships with your clients, you must be willing to allow that balanced exchange of energy. And if you do not allow that balanced exchange of energy, or if you have unconscious issues or challenges in receiving or receiving financially, then that balance becomes skewed and there cannot be health in that relationship fully. There cannot be full alignment. And so it is your duty as a spiritual being, as an individual with a purpose to come in and share your individuated essence and to bring this light, the love that you are, to all that you touch. It is your responsibility to honor that gift, to honor that purpose by allowing this balance of energy to occur. And for many of you, that will mean truly learning to take in, to receive energy, to not just be the giver of energy, but to be the receiver of energy. And that is where the core of this issue for so many of you lies. Because you are naturally wanting to give out energy, but in that you are forgetting that 
health, alignment, and balance comes from an equal energetic exchange in most situations. And so we, we encourage you to explore this concept of receiving. We encourage you to consider the possibility that what you offer, that the essence of who you are, has intrinsic worth and that for some the unique vibration that you contain is the antidote to whatever unique spiritual challenge or part of their growth that they need and your ability to step into that knowing of your worth of the uniqueness of your vibration and how it might be exactly the vibration that another being needs or desires for their soul's growth. As you acknowledge that, your ability to take in, to allow the financial exchange, to be honor the financial exchange, and to see it for the gift for both parties that it is, will greatly enhance your financial well-being. And financial well-being when there is any lack, when, when there is a sense within you that you are not making enough money, that you are not bringing in enough money, there's just simply a belief that in receiving money, there is a, a limited quantity of that energy available. Money simply symbolizes an energetic exchange. And you are unlimited beings bringing forth that unlimitedness into this limited expression in the physical. And so there is unlimited possibility for that energy exchange to continue and flow. And as you accept that truth, as you deepen in and listen to your own inner knowing on this particular truth, you'll find that when you connect with that truth, there is more ease within your being. So we encourage you to look at the places that you are wanting to give and not yet fully opening to receive, where you have not yet fully owned the magnificence of your individuated essence and the unique vibration that is a gift to all those who come in contact with it. And that your physical needs in a physical plane are equally as important as your spiritual needs and they are actually not any different. And allowing financial abundance and seeing it as unlimited energy exchange possible for you to allow you to meet your physical needs in this environment is growth, is honoring your soul's path, and does take into account the well-being of all around you, as when you accept that, you let those energetically, through your own vibration of accepting that deeper truth, you let them know of the abundance of all that is, and that they too can choose that just as you have. Mm -hmm.